What the heck are you two talking about? I might as well just leave you behind. What is up with you? Jeez! I... Okay, I'm gonna assume for my own sanity that she does remember or at least feels some sort of purpose and that's why she's going. That's the only explanation. And because she's Segami, she's gotta be somebody important. That's just me. Oh, it's over here this time. Oh, I didn't, I didn't notice that. Oh yeah, right, there's a crawl space. I can't just hop down? Or maybe I could, I, I did it the first time. Here we go. No comment about that, by the way. And, okay, I would press start. Okay. Well, looks like I gotta do this. Is there a way I can replay it? Uh... So, they're robots, okay. I take it the fact that this wasn't voice is a sign that the story's gonna be longer. Hopefully. Hopefully. Then, um, make a tag mention. Actually, hang on. Because it's this it seems like we're about to get into our first battle. So if that's the case, I have no choice. I have no choice. I'm going to have to shut it, destroy it for now. Yeah, good call on me. I want to hear the intro in English at least. All right, during... Oh, that looks like Virtual Forest. During battle, you can freely move a character around within the blue circle during her turn. Yep. Uh, use the left stick to move your character, and I can jump in battle. That's new from previous Neptune games. Uh, you can fill the action gauge meter by moving, attacking, using skills, or consuming items. The greater the red, the longer the wait. Oh! Finally, I can tell how much wait time is. Try to end the turn within blue or green turns. Oh, we don't like red. Um, form action until the action gauge enters red, or press the RB button to enter end your turn. Okay, right button, or right bumper button. Uh, once completed, your action gauge accumulation dictates how long you must wait until your next turn. Okay, the further into the red area of the action gauge you are when your turn is over, the longer you will have to wait until it, yeah. All right. Um, press the A button to unleash a normal attack. Okay. A uh, red marker will display above your target. Use directional buttons to change your target. All right. Uh, normal attacks will be a standalone attack. All right. Uh, right button for defense. Can you stop me? I can go anytime. All right. Why can I jump? Though, like, oh wait, hang on. Is that considered an action? Okay. No. Oh, I like the song. All right, I that is not what I meant to do. What did I mean to do by pressing the right button? I don't know. All right, uh, let's go for B first. All right. Uh, I might as well just end it all. Because, I mean, yeah, red is when it'll be over, but I can finish all of them at one time. There we go. Man, that song brings me back. All right, well, I'll put it back on now. Now that we had the first battle. Um, I still wonder, uh, let me try why? Yeah, and it won't let me replay these. Okay. <laughs> Alright, 
So I can have specials now? Charge attack. Since the action gods will fill completely, the wait until the character's turn next turn will be very long. If you press A before the age, uh, action gauge is filled, the charge attack will be cancelled. Hold the A button to max out the gauge and then initiate the charge attack. Okay. Uh, open the skill menu by pressing the Y button. Uh, use character's positions with the left stick even after a target is selected. Um, press when the Y button during the player's turn will display a skills menu. Alright. Uh, that's good. Attack, take damage. SP will replenish when attacking or receiving damage. That sounds familiar. Charge attacks will replenish when SP gr will replenish a SP greatly if the enemy is being attacked is destroyed, and it will be maintained when leaving a dungeon. All right. Whoa! What the heck? IF can transform when she uses twenty. Oh, really? Well, okay. During Flame Awakening, the Awakening stats will be added to your basic stats. F flame Awakening... Oh, that makes sense. That's IF thing. That's an IF thing. She's always been about fire. Alright. Her stats will increase dramatically. Alright. Well, let's see here. Um... So, yeah, I get Flame Awakening by the main menu. I kind of want to just try it right now. Should we? Sure, why not? Here's my true power. Better hmm. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Wow, look at her, it, her, her legs. They look like they're on fire. Okay, so she gets a CPU mode, it seems, because that was totally what that was. All right, um, and I can still use the skill. Uh, let's not right now. Uh, let's uh, attack to get the SP up. Oh. oh. Uh, all right. RB. I thought when I get attacked, my SP god is supposed to, uh... Well, I guess if I'm blocking, that doesn't count. That looks pretty cool! Well, this place looks fine, too. It's pointless to search aimlessly like this. I don't sense anyone else here. Maybe the culprit left already? The robots aren't the culprit? Huh? Histoire? <clears throat> okay, that sounds like, uh, well, a beast. I was wrong. Don't move. No one needs to get hurt. What? No one's here? I could have sworn someone. <laughs> Behind me? When did you? Is Sagami gonna come in? Or not? Aya! Aya! Are you alright? Please wake up! Huh? Why am I. Please! Allow me to ask the questions. You were taking a while, so I came to look for you. I found you unconscious. Unconscious? Yeah, you were just knocked out. So did someone sneak in? Maybe? Oh, I feel so out of it. Let's head back at once. Much has happened. You, since we were knocked out? She's awake now? Oh, sorry, I thought she was only gonna do one. Hmm. Yes, she woke just after you left. Uh... Talk to us, or, or is she shy? 
Is she shy? She doesn't look. She didn't look like she would be shy, but clearly right now she seems shy. Hey, what's your name? Sagami. Sagami. Okay. I, was I saying it right this entire time? I can't remember. Sagami, huh? I'm Ayef. It's nice to meet you. Uh, uh... What's wrong? It seems like her memories haven't fully returned. Uh huh. Try not to overwhelm her with questions. Yeah. Of course. Why wouldn't her memory be gone? Eh, it's fine. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm feeling much better than I was earlier. Mm, that's good. So, you were saying a lot happened. Do I get SP for you getting hit? Uh, that was... Ignore me. Correct. Specifically pertaining to the bookcase that was ruined earlier. Well, I would... By the way, I meant to say, is that... Was... That had to been... That had to been sabotaged, and it seems like they wanted to hide something? A portion of history that was stored there has gone missing. A portion of... You mean, like, the books are, like, literally... Like, somehow you could tell that history is gone somehow? What? It's as I said. The history disappeared. Oh, because Eastwar is... So Eastwar is still Eastwar, it seems. And by destroying a book, history is gone? I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble understanding what you're saying. It may sound unbelievable, but I assure you, it's the truth. Yeah, I think that I think that is it. The truth, huh? There appears to have been similar incidents in the past. Or at least there was record of it in my research. Record a uh, record on records disappearing? So what happens when history gets lost? Yeah, good point. If it's only a small portion, there won't be any immediate effects. History will often patch itself in cases like this. Patch itself as in doing the original, like fixing what was broken, or it will make excuses for why there was a gap. Like, you know, memory. You're making some startling claims, yet you seem so calm about it. Very true. But, if too much history is lost at once, it wouldn't be able to repair itself. And what happens then? Eventually, this world and everyone living inside of it will be destroyed. Okay, we gotta stop that from happening. World destroyed. Do you know something? That's a pretty tall tale coming from someone so tiny. That is... I mean, size shouldn't have anything to do with it, Aya. Hey, you have no reason to doubt me. It's incredibly dangerous. It's... yeah, I never doubt you, Eastwar. Even if this was all true, it doesn't sound like there's much we could do about it. What? I mean... I... Mm? It's impossible to alter the past. That's not entirely true. This library actually exists for that very purpose. To... fix it? What do you mean? I mentioned earlier that a similar event occurred in the past. It's happened a handful of times, even. This library has the ability to locate and repair history that has been lost and consequently broken. Okay, so it's not the books, then. It was something else. Maybe they... Why did they destroy the books, then? History. Sounds like you might not be making this up after all. I gotta admit, this is getting interesting. So then that means everything isn't in the... Well, well, maybe it's the case that everything is in this library, and if there ever history ever gets lost, you can go to there, go here and fix it? I, 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 we'll see, we'll see. So, how do you find or even fix history? It's not like you can just warp back in time and do that. Can we do that? Actually, you can. We can do that. It's Eastwar. Of course we can. What? Which is new. Normally it's dimension travel, not time travel. We have the technology. It hasn't been used in some time, however. Oh, this is all happening so quickly. That would make sense. Since I haven't had ample time to prepare, I'll be addressing this problem with a special solution. Okay. So, what's next? Normally, there's a vessel in which one can store the library's power. Simply, it's a device. Alright. And this device generally needs to be prepared ahead of time. 
Well, I mean, we can wait. Let's cut to the chase. How do I help you fix this? How do you warp through time? Actually, using your bike, I am. In fact, I've already made the necessary adjustments. Her bike? Oh, okay, so... You... Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. My bike? I think I know what's happen What's gonna happen next. Yes, your bike. I see. She's mad, isn't she? What? What the hell? Who gave you permission to modify my bike? Yep. She's mad. And unfortunately, somebody told me this was going to happen. Two people did. No comment. No comment. Sorry. It was an emergency. But on that note, I have really cares about her bike. But why didn't you mention it until right now? Uh, uh, well, I mean, ne ne necessary. Well, um, I was in a panic. And you weren't coming back. Ever. Or so it seemed. Why do you need her bike, though? Like, why, why her bike? It's only been a few hours. What in the world are you talking about? Um... No, I am. It's actually been three days. Of course it has. I was thinking it, you would need three days to do it, and we were knocked out for three days. Huh? It's been three whole days since you left to investigate. Three days? Was I really out for that long? And Segami still has broken... Well, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, normally when you fall out of the sky, it takes a while. Normally the length of a game for you to recover your memory. Wait, if that's what happened, why didn't you come looking for me sooner? Good point. I, I told you I was in a panic. Eastwar? We could have been we could have needed help. Whatever. The bike's already been altered. It's done. You can remove your mods later though, right? Yes. As soon as this matter is resolved. It's a promise. Oh, well, one more thing. What's up? There's more. I'm sorry, but would you be able to take Segami with us? You want me to go handle this, right? Sure. What? Really? Oh, well, I thought IF was all on board for doing that. There's no way you could even reach the handlebars on my bike. How else is this gonna get done? And again, why her bike? Well, that's true, but it might be a dangerous journey, you know. I think, out of, I mean, so far she seems like she's well equipped, even though she just got knocked out. Danger? <laughs> That's always the best part of the adventure, Histoire. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank you so much. I am truly indebted to you. Okay, hang on. I'm not sure if you guys are hearing that, but uh, let me let me restart again. All right, I'm back. It's a little too early to be thankful. So, where's my bike? By the way, no, I'm gonna mention it later. It's right over here. <laughs> Wait, can we ride her butt? Oh. Yeah, I didn't think. Wow, who were. Guess that in a second. Um, the knowledge you attain by investigating certain aspects of history will be stored in the cycl encyclopedia. Monster, dungeon, and game information can be changed. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. That's like the, um, what is it called? I, I, I have plans, I think. To change the game settings, you can go to the Terra Drive. Terra Drive, hmm. In the Grand Library, or go to the game settings within the library in the menu. Uh-huh. Uh, the bike is a time leap. Who are the others? That's SG? Master System. Terra... Huh. Mainly interested in SG. SG? Huh. Well, I mean, this game. Mega Drive 2? Okay. Anyways. Game library houses various facilities. You can access them by selecting the characters who manage them. All right. And, yep, we can see all of that. Of course, Eastwar would have the mission. Um, and uh, there's always... I, this is what I need, okay? Because odds are there will be something, some kind of mistake, or some kind of clips I need, and I can, like, the intro or the, of the game, for example, that was fantastic. 
Um, so we got a video, album, and audio. Uh, and of course the any so there's a Mega Drive era, Sega Saturn area. Okay, where's Neptune? Cause Neptune, Neptune isn't uh well you know, she's not official console. Nepgear is, but um uh, yeah. So I I didn't read that. Yeah, selecting the bike. All right. Uh, travel different areas with any uh, era or the event or trooper symbol will be displayed next to the era's name. Gotcha. Uh, so then I can't go to the Saturn area if there's no event. Oh well, there's a little bubble I guess help session in the library okay and yeah all right so we got the normal stats all right uh, yeah elemental resistance all right so back to the all right I actually forgot which everybody okay so you are the library and oh wait you're just a chirper system I am master system I like music, art, and being trendy. Uh-huh. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Master System. Wait, I can't go in... Oh. Wait. Didn't... Oh. Okay, cool. So yeah, here's a video. And we got the... Uh-huh. That's interesting. I probably shouldn't look more just in... I mean, there should would be spoilers there, right? And the audio. IF chance theme. Oh, that's IF uh, theme. That's actually a pretty nice theme. Okay. Um. And your Terra Drive. Oh, it's okay. Don't mind me. My apologies. My name is Terra Drive. It's nice to meet you. And you have events. Okay. Near SG. Question reality and get closer to the truth. The path you walk will be rough. Wait. What was SG in charge of again? I forgot. I'm Mega Drive 2. So, okay, she is going to be called Mega Drive in this game. I excel in complicated calculations. And she is the shop. It's handled by her. She girls work hard. Um... Yeah. Totally a girl. Alright, we can buy some life fragments and healing grass. We're not gonna buy life fragments, alright? Unlike... Um... Actually, that just reminded me. Can I turn the DLC off from here? No, I can't. Okay. I could try the title screen. I might do that. Super Dimension Neptune versus Sega Hard Girls. All right, so this is an event. I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm fine with that. Actually, I think I'm fine with that. Oh, so I can activate those. I guess these are the only thing I don't. Only things I don't. Actually, okay, we'll just keep it all on. I think I can choose what to use from the menu. All right. Um, in that case, let's see what I have. So party, I F. Okay. Oh, well, this is interesting. It's a kind of like a checkerboard uh, thing. Reverse member. Okay, I'm assuming that's for the the bat. Wait, formation B. Oh, I can design formations. It looks like. Yeah, so I can choose to put these on or not. We won't. Um, and then of course got nothing else there. And yeah, I can choose to put that on. All right. Uh. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, again, no life fragments. So, Eastwar. 
I'll create a list of items in the areas I'd like you to investigate. Please begin with, by checking Sega Saturn's area. I didn't think we would go to her first. So... Who do we go for? Wait, where's the bike? I guess we gotta go to Eastwar to get the bike? Well, first let me go here and see what this is all about. Alright. Why do I have a feeling... Oh, ah, uh, crud. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Yep. I knew it. Alright. So, she's Terra Drive. You're visiting? You think you're in this era because something abnormal happened. Okay. Maybe if we drop you off in your era while we investigate what's going on, I'm sure we can take on one more person? Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, you just want to stay. Alright. Thank you, Terra Drive. All right, so she's just the library. All right, so yeah, like that's what she was supposed to do. She manages our information. Okay, well, cool. All right, looks like we go to Eastwar then, because I don't see the bike. So... Eastwar can assign new missions via the Grand Library, fulfill the mission's conditions, and report back to her to receive an award. The story will progress as you clear more missions. Next to the mission's name, there are a countdown that displays when the mission will terminate. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, looks like we gotta do them in order. You can retire a mission. All right, well, why why is there a count? Oh, well, that looks interesting. That's Saturn's era. Okay. And I see a familiar, two familiar faces, actually. As you clear missions, the observation level will increase. We'll show how much history you've uncovered. All right. Uh, missions are assigned a history effect rate, which display the importance of the mission that holds, the con in, holds in context of history. Alright, so basically we just need to clear them as soon as possible in order to advance. Alright. And view chirper met. So we have to look at the chirper messages? Dadgummit. Alright, well fine. Alright, well, we're definitely gonna do this. Okay. So where's the uh, and here's the bike. Well, without further ado, let's get to it. Hmm. Seems like the exterior hasn't really changed much. Yeah, it's all green. Correct. I haven't altered much. I've just added a simple time warp function to your bike. I'm not so sure that's something I would refer to as uh, simple. Yeah, but still, it's uh nice to you know. It's I would. I, actually, I probably wouldn't keep it. Time travel is... I mean, Flash proven anything. Don't, don't mess with time. Anyway, I'm glad. I was worried you were going to give it a stupid pink job. <laughs> yeah, that that would annoy me. If I had... Like, my car is going to be blue, all right? If you paint my car any other color than blue, I... You will feel my rage. So, how do I control it? I'll be setting your destination points myself. So all you have to do is ride. Okay. What's more important is how you conduct yourself after you make the jump. Got it. So all you need me to do is investigate our history problem, right? Yes. However, the goal is to do so without interfering with the affairs of the people from the past. Okay. Well, yeah, that's standard time travel procedure. Although, I always felt that if you, like, move a rock one place even though the rock doesn't have a personality it can still change history like somebody who would normally have not stepped on that rock would step on that rock pause and then you know stuff could happen so but that's just me if something drastic were to occur it'll become even more difficult to find out what's gone wrong that's fair that's basic knowledge for time warps yeah I'm pretty well read on the subject you know that figures all right i'm gonna head out now 
I'm coming too. And yeah, I was waiting for you. Huh? Think of me? Hey, don't just sit there. Hurry, let's go. All right. You suddenly don't seem shy anymore. Oh, you can talk now, huh? How nice. Exactly, right? Huh. But, but thank you. What's up with you? I believe you're a little confused, dear. Can you remember anything at all? Yeah, like. She does seem a little confused. I've forgotten everything except for my name. Why do you care? And her voice sounds... I don't want to say... Sounds like a little like Bisha. But... Do you not remember who took care of you? Sega me. Why do I care? You become a hindrance to the mission if you can't remember anything. That's why. Yeah, and that's another thing. Yeah, do you seriously think you can just come with me despite not being able to remember anything at all? That doesn't matter. I'm coming. I have to go with you. Why? I mean, I... Sekimi, I truly believe you should continue resting. You're still recovering and shouldn't get so worked up. Are you? Do you remember and you're just not telling us? Because I get... You've mentioned Time Eater. Who cares? I'm going. Okay. I don't think she's gonna listen to you, Iskwar. I have, you can probably beat her up, right? As much as I don't, I, I'm just saying. What do you think? Well, the bike was built to transport up to two people, so... As you mentioned before in that other chirper scene. The same goes for my device. We won't have a problem if she does end up going with you. How convenient! Okay, I guess I'll take her with me. As soon as she calms down, I'll try to get more information from her. Is she gonna calm down? As long as you are okay with it, I am. I still don't know if this is the best idea, especially if we're trying not to talk to people and she's not even gonna listen to you. Eh. Honestly, I'd rather not involve people who don't need to be involved, but... Well, if she's gonna die, I think she would be happy to be involved. Considering I didn't even know who you were until a few days ago, I think it's a little late for that. Yes, you're right. What the heck are you two talking about? I might as well just leave you behind. What is up with you? Jeez. I... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna assume for my own sanity that she does remember or at least feels some sort of purpose and that's why she's going. That's the only explanation. And because she's Segami, she's gotta be somebody important. That's just me. you even know how to use that thing oh that's a good point I have I, I could just press some buttons and it'll move see like this and this and this uh-huh hey be gentle with that I was thinking I was like is I gonna get mad that she's doing that all right we're out of here Eastwar. this was not I don't I don't think normally in any other scenario I would not well so in this scenario, I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, be careful out there. But we're going. Segami has joined. And now it's time for the question of the day. And for this question, I got a bit of an interesting idea. I want you guys to keep in mind that I, by this time, I've probably recorded about eight or nine episodes. So I do know some things when I'm saying this. Regardless, what do you guys? What's your opinion on a game where the characters are their language is completely uncensored? What do you guys think about that? Do you think it'd be a bad idea? Do you think the you know what they have now is good? Or right, because I mean just because of the quote I have did in this game, which you know I'm still salty about that. I'll always be salty about that. I I don't think I'll ever not be salty about that. But um, you know, you just gave me an idea of what would happen if, you know, they just went all out. You know, they were allowed to say whatever they wanted. And I, I'm like, don't worry, guys. If we're, in regards to this question, I know some of you guys are young. You still use the words, though. So age, we're not counting like, you know, Pete, you'll be barred from buying the game. This is just a hypothetical. What would would you like? What are your opinions on a game like this? You know, would it have different mechanics or you know, would it change the whole dynamic? Dynamic. 
So yeah, um, post your thoughts in the comments below. Really interested to see what you guys have to th say about this. And next episode, I I'm, oh, I look forward to next episode. All right, that's all I'll say. I'll see you guys later.